food diaries. So this is going to be one of your first tasks as part of your onboarding process with online coaching. Keeping a detailed food diary is so key to your success and to ultimately achieving your goals. For many people, we can't remember what we ate this morning, we can't remember what we ate yesterday, let alone for the whole week. So by getting you to log your food at every meal for seven days consistently, this gives me an insight and an idea of your eating habits, your styles, and what an average week looks like. I am not looking for your best day, I am not looking for your best performance, and I'm not looking for your worst day. I'm simply looking at how do you eat on a normal day? When life is stressful, when life might be busy, you're on a night shift, you're at work, what do you do when things get tough? This is how we can work together and I can help to coach you to get some management tools to deal with stress, to deal with being rushed off your feet and wanting to grab the sugary snack. By knowing and understanding how busy your life is and what your eating habits are, we can work together to really get you towards your goals and helping you achieve your goals. So please, the easiest way to do a food diary is just to take a photo on your phone and upload the picture to the food diary. And just please give me a little description because sometimes if there's curries or pies um, or like a stir fry, just let me know about the serving size if you are aware. So I eat, if I had a chicken stir fry with white rice, I would simply put chicken, if you know how many grams, perfect, 100 grams of chicken breast, um, broccoli, capsicum, onion, garlic, one tablespoon of cooking oil. I want that level of detail. If it's white rice, basmati, long grain rice, is it a cup, two cups, you don't know, you just slapped it on the plate. Was it cooked with butter? So really just getting into that type of detail is going to help me understand. And it may actually help you be more conscious about what you're eating. I find in the first week, a lot of clients will stop eating the sugary snacks or will think twice about grabbing it because they know they need to log their food. And this is a great way and a very easy method for us to be more aware of how we're eating because it makes us stop and think, do I really need this? Am I really hungry? Or am I just eating it because it's there and it's convenient and I'm bored? So this is the first task. I can't wait to see it. Remember, I am not judging you. I love Cocoa Pops. I love the odd chocolate bar, chips, burgers, okay? But you need to be completely honest. Don't hide anything. And I've just put a little note that if you do struggle with, um, or previously you have struggled with eating, whether it's an eating disorder or binge eating cycling, just let me know. We can have a chat about it. I have personally experienced this myself. It is very common to not want to show people what you're eating in the dark or in the silence. And just know that I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. I'm not here to look at your food diary and be shocked. Honestly, nothing shocks me. I have worked with hundreds of clients and I have seen all of it under the sun. Under the sun. So yeah, let's do this.